Hi guys, my name is Andy, and today we're going to work on the first 10 questions of the math test, no calculator section, for the second practice SAT test. This one was on the College Board website, but it's not anymore, so I'm going to have a link to the PDF below. Alright, let's begin. If 5x plus 6 equals 10, what is the value of 10x plus 3? So if 5x plus 6 equals 10, then 5x would equal 4, so x would be 4 fifths. So you just got to do 4 fifths times 10 plus 3, which is 8 plus 3, which is 11. So the answer is C. Number 2, which of the following ordered pairs satisfies the system of the equations above? So x plus y equals 0 and x minus 2y equals 10. So... Uh, y would be negative x because you can just flip the x over. So this equation would change to 3x minus 2 negative x equals 10. So 5x would be 10 making x equal 2. So the answer would be b. Number 3, which of the following is the best interpretation of number 12? So number of landscapers times number of hours time it would be making twelve dollars an hour so the answer would be a number four which of the following is equivalent to the expression above as shown above so one of if you if you square these one of these numbers it would be four b to the fourth power the only one that fits that description is a and also you could just do nine a to the fourth plus 12a squared b squared plus 4b um, to the fourth power. And number five, if k is greater than zero and x equals seven, what's the value of k? So it's 2k squared plus 17 equals seven. 2k squared plus 17 equals 49. 2k squared equals 32k squared equals 16 and k equals 4. The answer is C. Number 6, in the xy plane above, line L is parallel to line k. What is the value of p? So, this line, the slope of that line would be 2 over 5, because it's 2 minus 0 and 0 minus negative 5. So the line would be y equals 2 fifth x, so we're just going to shove this in here so we can get 0 and negative 4. So in order to get negative 4, you just got to subtract by, the, subtract by 4. So if we shove 0 in for y, then we get 2 fifth x minus 4 equals 0. 2 fifth x equals 4. x equals 10. So the answer would be D. Number 7. Um x to the a to the square divided by x b squared is x to the 16th and x is greater than 1 a plus b squared is 2 what's the value of b square uh, of a minus b so this is basically saying a squared minus b squared is x 16 a plus 2 and a plus b equals 2 um So, for this one, I'm just going to shove in one of these values. So, I'll do a equals 2 minus b. Um, so, that would be 4 minus, no. Um, two minus b squared minus b squared is x to the 16th. Meaning negative 2b squared minus 4b plus 4 equals x to the 16th. Well, I, no, I mean equals 16. Uh, so that is 2b squared plus 4b plus 12 equals zero b squared plus two b plus six equals zero 
wait, no, this 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 is wrong. I messed up. I ignore what I did so far. A squared minus B squared equals 16. I know that. A plus B, which is A plus B times A minus B equals 16. So this is 2. So A minus B has to be 8. So the answer is just simply A. I tried to like solve the whole thing, but don't do that. If you can just find a simple way like this, just, just pursue that option. Um, the measure A, this measure of exterior is greater than 50 degrees. What is the number of sides it can have? Um, exterior. So it's 50 or greater times n equals 360. And since we can't have 7.2 sides, um, we got round down to 7. Number nine, if the value, if the two lines are at this point, what is the value of a plus b? So the first line is y equals two x plus six, and the second line is y equals negative x plus three, and this intersects at two x plus six equals negative x plus three. Three x equals negative three. X equals negative one. So A would be negative 1, and B would be 4, and negative 1 plus 4 equals 3. Answer is B. Number 10, which of the following equations has a graph as, which is greater than or equal to negative 1? Uh, negative 1 plus 4 equals 3. This one... Looking at this, um, for this one, y can y can be negative two if you shove in zero for x. So we know that a isn't the answer. Same thing for this one. We can get negative two, so this isn't the answer. If we square a value, we're always going to get a positive number, so the answer would be c. All right, that's it for this video. On the next video, I'll be working on number eleven to twenty. Uh, 11, yeah, eleven twenty. Uh, thank you, and please like and subscribe.